All right, so uh, this guy here is, uh, uh, I guess, a vacuum pump from a hospital. And uh, uh, it's really good. I mean, it'll blow bubbles like a maniac. I probably have two blowers run off it. Uh, it's a, I think it's a third of a horsepower. Uh, it pulls on startup uh, uh, under, this uh, 900 watt generator will starter. Uh, the, um, uh, uh, the, the inverter, the battery inverter won't, uh, but it, it easily, it'll, it'll get it like once out of every three times it'll get it started. Just that, you know how that, in, there's that initial startup, uh, current draw, where they draw, uh, two to three or four times more than, uh, even with a capacitor, yeah, the capacitance help. Uh, so, uh, you know, I don't know if I need a bigger capacitance bank and all that. It's all just good fun, a bunch of, uh, uh, engineering equations and knowledge that, uh, yeah, I probably should know, but I've long since forgotten. Uh, but uh, the other thing is it just pulls way too much current. As soon as I, when I run it, I've got to run it off the battery jumpers on a battery to, to keep that running off the solar panels. It's just way too much for the batteries to deliver. They, they don't like it. They're, these deep cells aren't made for that. They're, they're made for a lower current draw. So uh, uh, that this is a, uh, uh, although a very effective means for producing uh, with this, we're back to gasoline, and you know we're back to uh, three bucks a gallon for gasoline. And you know I could get that little if I run that guy low and I trim her out right, I can get her to run for two or three hours. But uh, it's still uh, you know a buck an hour, so pretty expensive. Uh, you know I can't wait till I uh, uh, you know spend the money with my friends, the uh, government partnership electric company, who wants five grand to put electricity out here. But at least then I'll get to buy it at a lower rate. Um, uh, what I've got is the the newest one I've looked at is this German one. It's a linear pump, and the way they work is is a, a, a linear uh, uh, fashion. And uh, I think this is 60 watts. It's it's from this company, uh, uh, Hydroponics Hydro Farm. Uh, uh, turns out uh, in Southington or uh, uh, Bristolville, right down the street, there's a uh, company that sells these. So uh, rather than have to mail order and screw around with that, they had. Uh, Actually, the 70, and I was, uh, I liked the idea of the 70 better. It's 60 watts, uh, puts out a little bit more. It's uh, 70 uh, liters per minute, so uh, a little bit higher uh, volume and uh, maybe enough. This is uh, actually my first time to start it up, so let's see how she goes on a startup. I'm going to run it right off the battery and see if it works. The battery may not be fully charged, so I don't know how much we're going to get out of it. No, so I'm going to have to shut this off and fire up the car and jump start it. So, oh, she's making noise. Good knives. So uh, it's a 400 watt inverter, so 60 watts is, you know, 5 amps. So it's a good bit of juice we're chunking out of there. Um, when I run that off that guy, it takes a few minutes for the, you know, the pipes pressurized, so I can feel it pressurized. You know the pipe pressurizes because like a snake, it'll come up in the water. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, just a cheap, it's not a pipe, it's a garden hose. Uh, uh, so it, as it comes up, then you know the pressure is going out. Hey, wait, we see little bubbles. So it's bubbles. Uh, that's not exactly a, uh, uh, you know, official, um, uh, sorry, I'm in the daylight and it's hard to film, but it's not exactly an official bubbler. Uh, it's, again, a, it's a makeshift. Uh, uh, Mark's, Bernie Shulman's, the, the, uh, the folks that uh, have the cheap stuff on closeout, they had a tree soaker and uh, I, uh, with a hose. And I thought, uh, you know, for a buddy of mine grabbed it for me and he said, you know, he thought of me, and uh, uh, so I, I tried it, I'm trying it, and it seems to put up a really nice, big, thick column of bubbles, so moving a, a significant amount of water. Do we see that? Yeah, yeah, a little, little fish grab there. And pipe's coming up slowly but surely. She she's, uh, takes a while to pressurize, so it looks like it's pressurizing, and um, uh, and then eventually she'll uh, she'll start bubbling. It takes a little while. I, I don't know what the physics of that is, why. It starts bubbling a little bit there when you first start, and then uh, uh, I assume it's pushing water out, and those little bubbles are just uh, uh, residual air that's left in the line that didn't get uh, evacuated by the, the ingress of the pressure of the water after you turn it off the last time. Uh, but uh, it's uh, pressurized that far out, and the battery's not dead yet, so that's a good sign. I see a few of the carps swimming by, maybe. I know I do. Maybe I'm moving around too much. I need to learn to hold my hand steady. Uh, so it'll be interesting, this will be uh, a nice timing of how long it takes to, uh, uh, when you turn it on. And, um, 
uh, one, one thing is is uh, when it's done um, uh, turned off if I cycle this it'll uh, it, it generally the air pressure and the residual air in the line will uh, continue bleeding out through the uh, uh, bubbler for uh, you know another 30 seconds a minute so uh, uh, so that's probably what I just talk myself through what's happening out there uh, so uh, it's usually one big burp comes up and then she's off to the races and uh, she'll start bubbling and see uh, I noticed when I, I ran the I ran it when I first got out here off this while I was setting up I just wanted to get the lake stirred a little bit that was the last video I made I don't know if I uploaded it or not I got a ton of videos I haven't uploaded it would probably take a month to sit in all night long uploading them uh, uh, the uh, 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 but the idea is with the air column and probably the people who know what they're talking about to tell you better but uh, the uh, the air is obviously uh, lighter than the water and it floats up through the water but as it does that it, it uh, creates like a, a highway and uh, the water molecules that are at the bottom down there follow along and as they as they get displaced uh, it creates like a chimney effect and uh, uh, pulls the water from the bottom up and so when you first start running these you'll get a little stink if, if, if it's an old pond or a stinky pond and even my pond is it's uh, this is its second summer and I've been feeding away like a madman so there's plenty of uh, 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 poop juice at the bottom of that uh, uh, lake and uh, stinky it sounds, smells like uh, when you drive by a sewage treatment plant or something or uh, you know if you're down in the basement working on some broken sewer pipes so uh, uh, that's a sign that you're, you're moving you're moving the yuck mud off the bottom that black nasty yuck mud off the bottom so uh, yeah so far uh, no dice uh, maybe it's too deep and uh, it just can't pump that pressure and, uh, and the air is coming out a crack or a hole somewhere I got in the pipe, I don't know. Uh, or just not enough pressure to make it down there. This little bad boy can't push that far. It's supposed to, it's built as a high pressure, high volume pump. And uh, so uh, and, uh, maybe I just have it too deep. I know my, uh, I have a regenerative, um, uh, uh, regenerative, um, air pump airflow pump it's high pressure high volume also but uh, it, it it's these uh, white pipes here um, uh, th those one inches I hooked that up and apparently it's too deep too because no air comes out at the air stones I've sunk out there so uh, uh, so the, the 70 um, liters per minute unit uh, is unable to uh, stir at the depth I have that at uh, so now I'll have to uh, figure out what depth that at. Is that at a eight foot depth or six or ten? There's a spot right around in there where it actually gets the ten. So it could be in that deep spot, um, and that's right the center right there. There's just a small little zone in the middle of this pond where I dug it a little deep. Uh, so maybe we're in that deep zone, but I don't think so. I think that's only about seven eight foot there. Uh, so uh, uh, we'll give her another. 30 seconds here. I'm chattering away like a, an imbecile waiting for air bubbles to come up from the bottom. Uh, any rate, uh, that's a. Uh, uh, this is the uh, active aqua. It's supposed to be a 60 water, which I really like the idea of. And uh, the directions are in German or Dutch or you know some kind of uh, you know crazy Nork style language. And uh, uh, so, um, but this company, Hydro, uh, Hy Hydro Farm, they, they've got, the, I guess, the distributorship here in the U.S. for this, uh, pump. And it's, I, I've read some reviews on this, this thing, and I, I guess it was pretty highly rated, but maybe it's only for, like, three-foot-deep koi ponds and crap like that, and it's not deep enough for mine. Or maybe I need to go to this, uh, 110-liter one. Who knows? Um, well, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, another hundred bucks down the toilet on something that doesn't work.